Scorpio. Nah, you can do it. You can do it. What's your November? Go right now. Let it do it. Let's go. 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 Where do you draw the line? And what's odd, watching children be sexualized or date must be a pedophile's dream. And what's even more weird is that platforms will promote this bullshit yet censor me or demonetize me for calling it out but yeah that's like the only changes they've made with these 20 v1s other than that everything else is pretty much the same still scamming their fans with the cash app link in the description claiming that you're gonna make 750 dollars and we already know how that goes cash app is not giving you 750 dollars for free yeah, that just doesn't, doesn't make, make sense. sense that's a terrible business move they're still using the exact same intros as one another and they're also still using the exact same profile wow. pictures as one another like that's there's literally crazy. zero creativity when it comes to these 20v1 tubers now one specific 20v1 that i really want to talk about right now because i th i feel like this is the elephant in the room is this little rt 20v1 a few weeks wow. ago i was scrolling on twitter just getting in my daily scroll and i see this poster 20 women versus Lil rt it's in atlanta and i also
This is not the TikTok Riz party. This is the YouTube kids Riz party. None of these kids are over the age of 13 years old. What was going through this oh man's head gosh. when he was thinking of this video? Man, 20v1s are getting dead, man. Let's add some children to the mix. Like, bro, what the heck? What's crazy is this man also added boys to the mix to make it seem like Lil RT was there to find friends. When we know the true intentions of this, like oh, I said, kind of this is a children's dating show. This freaky ass- At first I thought- <laughs> <laughs> they put little boys down up in there to be like LGBTQ positive. Cornball got a room full of kids to try and riz up Lil RT. Is that not weird? I want to know what adults allowed their kids Weirdos. to get on this video. I Clout genuinely want to know. Like, this is actually insane. Oh, oh shit. Like, bro, just let these kids be kids. Why are we putting kids on dating shows? That is weird. Especially 20v1s. I find it so insane how much Lil RT has been used and abused and just exploited through the black community. Y'all need to stop using and abusing this kid for your own financial gain and just let him be a child, bruh. Why do we need videos of Lil RT swiping dudes for his mom or assisting dudes in a 20v1 or even Lil RT being on a 20v1? Nobody needs Needs this content. What's crazy is at the end of this Lil RT 20v1, this man has the audacity to say, Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know if y'all want to do another one or y'all just talk to me, chat. Let me know. Man, I just held the latest dating show for children, man. If y'all want another one, make sure to tag your little cousin in the comment section, tag little Timmy, tag your little sister, any kids. I want them all. Like, dog, read the room. Nobody wants another Lil RT 20v1 or another children's dating show. You know, this video is bad when this man turned off the entire of comment section. This man probably got tons of hate for this, and I'm not gonna lie, this hate is justified. And if you thought that, that was bad, well, let me tell you. His reaction to the little kid dance twerking or whatever it was that she was doing is the craziest shit ever. And the fact that members of the black community that are not calling this shit out makes me lose complete and utter hope in it. How can you be so quick to call out others based off of unfair treatment regarding your race, but you have ridiculous shit happening within your own community that you say nothing about? If you want something to complain about, Complain about this. Well, let me tell you that these 20v1s get even worse because there's actually this 20v1 with this rapper that goes by the name of Finesse Two Times. And it starts off as your average 20v1 that you'd see on Black YouTube. But then halfway through, Finesse Two Times' son came no. in with them on the second round to basically just stick by his father's side while he's talking to these women. And the way that these women and Finesse Two Times talk right in front of this child is actually weird. It, it's, it's genuinely disgusting. So after you... Do you stay hard? No way. That junk get soft. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm gonna go for about 40 minutes for that Johnny for round two. Cal. You might not take 40 minutes with me. Cal. I'm just trying to see what's the freakiest shit a bitch ever did to you. The I boy is right wife. there. On oh God, it's a bitch from Atlanta because she married now. On oh God, I had a bitch with eating that bitch, right? Yeah. Man, that bitch got off that bitch, started sucking my toe, cuz. If you spit my mouth right now, you gonna have to leave this home and f me right though. <gasps> Since you said when you got out, Mess with some skinny girls. Right. So what would you say? The only reason why I can't get skinny girls out my head no more, right? Cause, cause what one time, right? My I was hitting a bit from the front, right? And my my she just got the square. <gasps> my head. Honestly, I cannot believe this. The young boy looks so uncomfortable in hearing all of this sexual talk in front of his father. One of the most major issues with our youth today is their early exposure to sexual content. Well, I think. Uh... The most difficult thing to do today, and this is about raising our children, the most difficult thing, now hear this because this is serious, the most difficult job we have is to protect our children from premature sexual arousal. Mm. Okay? Because the, the society is so swamped with sexual innuendo, sexual suggestion, sexual pitches, activities, and they even have our little girls I'm talking about three and four and five years old, dry rating, doing pelvic thrust, doing all of this stuff on that claiming it's dancing. Like that little vulgar song by Cardi B. Uh-oh. That uh, people are on there with their children. The little girls have memorized that. They singing it, they dancing to it. They doing gyrations like adults in strip clubs. They are making faces like adults, women. This is mm. not good. It's really bad, you know, but those are some of the things that are going on 
that we are teaching our children as if it was fun. Mm. See, the word fun and happiness has not ever appeared in any holy book we had. The Bible, the Torah, or the Quran. Ain't no promise from God about no fun. We have to get things in order and then maybe we can have some peace. That's what we're striving for because that's the one thing we don't have. We don't have peace from our family. We don't have peace from the people around us. We don't have peace from the police, certainly not. We don't have peace from the military. We don't have peace. That's what we should be struggling for, not for no so-called happiness that can change by the day based on whatever is happening or from the influx of drugs and alcohol. And well, I thought the majority of that is coming from outside factors. This proves that there are pathetic parents that are on purpose introducing their children to this type of content while at the same time utilizing the children for content. They're doing this on camera. Imagine what's happening off camera sick i feel so bad for this kid because you can literally see it in his face yeah. he's not trying to hear any of that no child is trying to hear this freaky ass conversation especially coming from one of his own parents this man's talking about how he'd be making girls squirt in front of his son bro That's when wild. i was young the only thing i knew that squirted was my squirt gun in the go. closet right. why is this man so talking about how he'd be making women squirt in front of his son that's insane if one of my parents were speaking freaky deaky right in front of me like this the only option i'd have is to drive off of a cliff at 300 miles per hour in gta of course <laughs> and if you thought that it's disgusting hearing people talk about these sexual acts during these 20v1s what about them actually doing these sexual acts there's literally a 20v1 with the rapper jp and no mid 20v1 this man got that mw3 dome if you catch my drift no basically he was just yapping it up with these girls and this girl was talking about how she's got that gawk gawk 3000 why is it always the same too whether or not it's the pink hair the goddamn green hair. It's always the same shit. I'm low-key happy that there's ratchet identification. Like this red shit is just so trash. But low-key though, I'm happy that there's a way to visually identify a ratchet hoe. Um, just looking at the size of the earrings, the color of the hair, and the length of the extension of the eyelashes. Not a key indicator those are red flags girls and this girl was talking Look about how she's got that gawk gawk 3000 you know it too? goes crazy so you ever had with no gag reflex or no what of course yeah i've had several Oh, I can show you, but I can tell you. And JP basically said that he needed proof of that gawk gawk, right? So they go to the back and this man starts getting gawked off Yo. mid 20v1. Number one, this is disgusting. And I feel bad for this woman's parents, future kids, and anybody that associates he with pick her. her. And number two, the fact that all these grown men are just standing around, eavesdropping, listening to another man get his meat slurped That's up. It's completely wild. odd to me. These dudes literally look like some cheerleaders, bro. They're outside the door like, oh my gosh, JP. You're really getting your meat slurped off right now. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And if you thought that, that 20v1 was bad, well, it gets even worse. I'm really curious to see if slobbing on the knob is what got her the W in this 20v1. Let's watch. Eliminate the girl right now that you think. <laughs> yes, eliminate the girl, the girl right now that you think will f up his mentality. A f his, 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 his mental, his mental health on a count of three. Damn. <laughs> Boy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Whatever you say, I'm you know you might go. be right though, cause I'm kind of toxic too. Just to be she eliminated. I already knew. I That's it. That's it. it. <laughs> JP, do you want to override this rapper. decision? Hell no. <laughs> Bye. Oh my daddy. All right, so look, we got it. So after all of that, you were a whore for YouTube content, and he just discarded you back to the streets from where you came. She belongs to the streets. How stupid do you feel? Where this girl literally spit into one of the other contestants' mouths to basically show how freaky she was. Miss Gabrielle. Nah, you can do it. You can do it. What's your November? No, right now. Let her do it. <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> When I tell you that clip almost that clip almost made me That's throw up. So almost, crazy. Oh my, I had to stop myself right there. Seeing that clip, it's it's disgusting. These 20v1s need to stop. Like, when are we going to wrap these up? I feel like they've had their time, you know? 20v1s were cool at one point when the Sidemen was doing them, when Jubilee was doing them. But do we really got to continue to make these? You white room warriors need to stop. This content is just bottom of the barrel. Can, can we think of something else? Oh wait, we did think of something else. Pop the balloon. If you're unfamiliar with pop the balloon, basically it's 
it's like the new 20v1s and how it works is a bunch of contestants line up with a balloon in their hand and each round a person comes out and if a person with the balloon likes you then they don't pop the balloon but if they don't like you then they pop the balloon and they explain why they popped it now i will say i did like pop the balloon because there are a lot of funny moments yeah. in there like when an ugly dude walks in and the whole room just sounds like the fourth of july all right so like um ladies how y'all feeling based on that was pretty funny, you know? There's some pretty funny moments with those. But now, I feel like the format is just becoming way too overused. Why does everything have to involve balloon popping? The other day, I seen a dude playing pop the balloon in Roblox. And that's not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that they got the actual white room in Roblox as well. Like, bro, this is getting out of hand, bruh. These white rooms need to be put to an end, dog. This is why Arlette's version of pop the balloon has risen to the top, because there is a strong sense of professionalism that she put into each one of the shows and most of y'all don't even know this but there's literally an uncountable amount of content creators that have tried pop the balloon but they can't top hers why simply because there's no professionalism back when 20 v1s were done by sidemen or by jubilee those were all professional uh, whoever has a hold of these white rooms they got to start charging more they got to start charging like an arm and a leg rather than money because if i see one more video in a white room i'm actually going to flip especially these blind dates i seen a dude doing blind dating based off baby pictures is that not weird bro especially coming from these freaky ass channels that's even weirder there are so many creative things you can do on youtube and you're telling me that blind dating based off baby pictures is the best you can think of that is insane what's crazy is this freakiness on black youtube is also transitioning over to twitch and if we know one thing about twitch they could not give a singular f about freakiness on their platform right. twitch would let a woman put jelly beans up her booty hole if it meant that they were getting six prime subs by the end of that stream twitch could not care less shay frost is crushing that in a heartbeat no questions asked all that being said i find it insane how us as a black community have stooped to a new low in content creation where we're putting 10 year olds on dating shows getting dome on stream and scamming our audiences with a fake cash app in every single video like this is just odd behavior and it's gotta stop what is the point of having little rt on a dating show who is this content even for and why does it have 43,000 likes you know what's so crazy um part of the argument of decentralized media is is that it can take the creation out of the hands of those that do not care about the culture or the people that it represents. And we wonder why our babies are functionally illiterate. They can't read, they can't speak. Adultifying and sexualizing black children prematurely is part of the reason why we have such high rates of teen pregnancy in the black community. These kids are running around acting like adults. And what's so ironic is how black Americans swear up and down in the black community that we don't abuse kids. We don't like child abusers in the black community, but yet we do stuff like this. We groom adultifying sexualized black children constantly and we expose them to mature content far too soon. And then when we're asked why we see such low educational standards and hypersexuality in our culture, we throw up our hands and go, well, I don't know, oppression, uh, white people, uh, racism. Black children are struggling not because of white people somehow, but because of the decay of morality in our culture. Black culture is dying in ghetto culture. It wasn't Kanye West that put the White Lives Matter t-shirt on first, you did. You did by intentionally ignoring what Black Lives Matter would actually mean if it was applied. It would mean taking a look at all of these statistics that I've just riled off to you. It would mean taking a look at the real problem that is happening, which is our culture a celebration of perversity pitched to us as if it's diversity. It's not. It is not diversity that we are celebrating. It is perversity. You think that it's something to be proud of. It's not. So when you say something like, oh, Candace Owens, we don't want you in our culture. You don't understand black culture. I have to keep reminding you that I don't want to be a part of this culture. I want to destroy it. I want to destroy it further than it's already destroyed itself. I want to go backward. Your idea of progressivism is clearly regressive. And a lot of the talking points center in at, you know, well, if we had our own media, right? Like if it wasn't these Jewish people running, right? Like we can control our own. But even when 
you can run it yourself and can control it, it gets to this level of debauchery. I think that content like this reflects the decay of a community, how morality has plunged to the depths of Hades within the black community. The adultification of children for content is where I draw the line at. It's sick, sad, and disgusting, and it needed to be called out. Shout out to the content creator. I'll leave his contact information down below in the description box. Go check him out. He has a ton of awesome content. I've actually reacted to something that he put up previously. Nevertheless, if you guys have questions, comments, concerns, then y'all already know what to do. Leave it down for me in the comment box down below because I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this one as well. I actually think the sickest part of this video was watching that father talk with that whole like that while the child was, was sitting right there it's just an entire room of ain't shit people the woman for talking like that especially the father for talking like that you have the cameraman you have the production assistant and no one else is caring about the endangerment or the welfare of the child in the room who has no control of the situation but is being exposed at nine or ten years old to this heavily sexualized conversation it's absurd. Leave me your comments down below and I will check you guys soon. Until next time, YouTube.